Hey, I'm glad you're here. Quick video today. Uh, I got a new mic, by the way, so audio should be better. Anyway, I have a Samsung uh, SSD that failed. It wasn't working and uh, you can't see on the screen here, but it was a lot of uh, black and red. I mean, it was green in between, but it was still struggling. We hooked the terminal to it and we had the tweezers to load the um, loader into the drive and then it was struggling for a long time. So let me put you on something that uh, I bought that actually helped the drive significantly. We tried heat, treat wasn't, heat wasn't working, I actually made it worse. And then we tried this little thing here. I'm gonna show you right now uh, what it does and how it improved the read on this drive. And then I'm gonna tell you what actually happened after that, how we got a full recovery. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's, let's just, let me just show you what I was using here. So you might think this is just a standard heat sink. But it's not. You can see wires going into it. So obviously this is something else. So this is a pelt here. It came out of uh, uh, this portable tiny USB fridge. I was actually going to buy a pelt here on its own, but um, this was uh, a better option. So I just I just put the switch on my USB control USB uh, hub here. So in a second, this is going to get called. Now I added this piece right here. This is a uh, heat pipes from a laptop. Uh, I'm still going to work out a better way of mounting it onto an SSD. Uh, because um, this will short out uh, an SSD if you put it on directly, because it is metal, right? It's copper, so you're touching components on the SSD, uh, you're going to short it out. In a way, it was a good thing that I shorted out, and I'll get to that at the end of the video, because it's a funny story about this SSD. Uh, but yeah, it's getting cold. Actually, if you put your fingers on here and you wait long enough, it will freeze your fingers. Like, it's super cold. This is an excellent um, way to cool drives. Uh, consistently because I tried putting ice on the SSD and then, you know, it's not very, uh, keep holding ice here on the SSD. I mean, you gotta sit here and babysit it, right? And then it's, you got condensation from the bag and then the bag could leak and you can spill water on here. You don't wanna be doing that. So I got some captain tape. We're just gonna put over the components here. I mean, the captain, tape's not, captain tape is not ideal here because the problem is now you kind of um, preventing the, how cold this actually is getting. Uh, transferring over to the uh, chips, but I mean, it's still better than touching the uh, the board directly because you are going to short it out. Um, so I'm still going to have to figure out a better way of mounting this um, this thing on here. This is still work in progress. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do this, but let me let me start the screen capture here on this computer uh, so we can see uh, what happens when you when you start. Uh, imaging when the chips are being cooled we have the drive being cooled down right now and i'm recording the screen here so i built a map of the entire sectors on the drive so we had about 84 gigs out of 500 gigs um so wait, let's just hit start here um the settings for this drive is um uh, one sector read and five retries i've been trying up to 200 and you know i wasn't really make, making much of a difference until we actually cooled the drive down so uh, let's just hit start and see how it goes. So you see it's getting some. Without the active cooling, it wasn't actually that good. This is probably like the 10th pass I'm doing on these uh, bad, uh, bad spots. But you can see it's getting them. Without the coolness, without the cooling down the chips, it actually wasn't so good. You can see they're disappearing slowly. They're going away. Now, this still would have been a partial recovery because, I mean, it's, the, the black spots were so many on the drive so often that... When I was opening some files, they were pretty bad. So, um, I mean, this would have worked, like I said, partial recovery. So uh, I, I guess the client will get some data, but not everything. So what happened after all this? When I got the pelt here yesterday and I was, I took apart the fridge, uh, we got it out and we put it on top of the SSD. When I was trying to attach it here and I was playing around with it, I actually shorted out the drive and then drive wasn't working. I uh, couldn't hit power, the drive wouldn't power on, and I was like, holy crap, we killed the drive. Um, eventually, it did turn on, and when it did turn on, what happened is it started working. It takes a while to, for it to become ready, but it's reading it's, uh, all the sectors, no problem. So if we're going to stop this, I think I would have to go back to the, old, to the second task I started for this. So let me uh, make sure the terminal hookups are still there, but uh, we don't need the tweezers, so we don't go into terminal mode. If you were to repower the drive, let's see if it's still fixed. Staying busy. Uh, oh, there it is. It's ready. So let's have what happens now if we start reading. 
No, it's not gonna work now. Well, it probably doesn't work because it's looking for a different device because it's uh, down through a loader. Uh, so if we were to exit this task completely and go back to the other task, the test task that I did, it actually should read. Uh, actually, no, let's, um, let's do a new task altogether. Oh, actually, it's still working. So you see, it's still showing up the size. Initially, before this whole thing happened, the drive would just kind of stay busy and then eventually it would show up uh, 400 megabytes. So obviously, it's not loading. So uh, part of, one of the private groups I'm on, on Facebook, um, one of the people that there actually suggested that it's possible the drive was uh, having some background operation that was causing the, the entire problem until the drive had shorted out and then it started working. Now, I don't recommend anyone shorting any drives because this is just a freak of nature. It's really a, a rare occurrence that this happens. I mean, I've seen drives uh, start working after, after a while, but um, this, one, uh, this one is working fine. So let's just make a new task. I'm gonna probably delete it later. Let's just put it onto another drive. So instead of choosing the, the utility connection, we're gonna choose this connection, uh, which is the port zero. Uh, we can make that a copy, that's fine. And just go straight to file image. And this actually should work without any issues. So if I had start here, uh, you can see all green. And if I show you the speed of the ads, it is beautiful speed, 100 megs. Eventually, when it gets to about halfway, it will slow down to about 5 uh, megabytes per second. It will fluctuate. Um, so obviously, I don't recommend imaging the entire drive. It's best to build a map and then just uh, go for the important files. But uh, that's pretty much this case done. So now let me show you the fridge we bought where we salvaged the Peltier to use on these SSDs. In the US, these things are $20. In Canada, they're 60 bucks. I mean, I can, if I probably looked hard enough, we can probably find it for cheaper, but I needed this ASAP because the client needed the data. So uh, well, 60 bucks is uh, it's not a big deal if, if we need this to make money. Anyway. So here's the fridge. So you can see there was different elements. There was an LED that we removed. There was a bunch of screws. The fan we kept, even though I have my own fan running on the there, but um, this is it here. So. That's all it took. I mean, this is the cooling element that you can see some uh, thermal paste and then the, you put your can in here and, and it was sitting in the bottom so it would cool it down. Uh, I'm actually shocked how cool this thing gets. That's it for this video. I apologize for any audio issues earlier. I think I, my, my neck was touching the microphone here so there might be some muffled sounds. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with this recovery. Um, like I said, I want to find a better solution than this, just this Peltier. I want to get better heat pipes on here. They'll work a bit better, but for what this thing uh, helped us with this time. We're pretty happy. The client's happy. And at the end of the day, everyone walks away uh, satisfied and not disappointed. Anyways, see you in the next video.